Hello again from my front porch. I have a special treat this time. My parents will be celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary coming up this uh, weekend, uh, February 25th to be exact. And in honor of that, uh, they were both here visiting. Uh, they came over last night and, and stayed over with me last night. But So I took some time with them earlier today to sit them both down here individually on the front porch and asked them a few questions about their lives together, the early life starting off and, and, and looking back on this five decade journey as it has progressed. And so um, I think you'll find the answers to be interesting. Uh, not only where they're the same, but especially where they're not quite the same. <laughs> so with that being the case, let me show you what my parents were like as they each individually visited with me right here on my front I porch. I have joining me here on the porch swing at this point in time, my dad, Zine Smith. Hey, dad. Hey. hey. <laughs> Hi, folks. So this time around, I'm doing something really different, a little bit different. I'm talking to my mom and dad separately because I want to ask each of them some different questions or the same questions, but see how they respond to the different questions. And uh, these all have to do with the fact that coming up this Friday, they're celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. Woohoo! That's a, that's, that's a long time. Yeah. That's a, that's a, <laughs> a long time. <laughs> I am here now with my mom, Dorothy Smith. Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> so that's 50 years. That's that's five decades. That's a long time. I know. That's, that's long a long time to be with the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> I won't ask how many guys you want. Just, just, some things a son does not need to know. It's like I wasn't so, too <laughs> They were too immature. At school. <laughs> All right, so let's let's talk about let's talk about when because because we already talked about last time you guys were here we talked about how he kind of got roped into you know your dad was showing him the picture and stuff yep. and then how you weren't really all that impressed with him you heard about how they technically met about how her dad basically coerced dad into to say hey here's the picture of my daughter and you know and we also heard about how my mom was not impressed by him originally apparently too <laughs> mm -hmm. so all of that happened but at some point you guys actually went out on a date and so, what, what what do you recall from, and it can either be your very first date or just from when you were dating, but if, do you remember anything about the very first date? Mm, well, no, I really, I, uh, you know, I just been trying to think back of what what did we did do on our first first date. When I, it was a uh, while ago. For, yeah, it was 50 <laughs> years ago, you know. And, uh, all I, what I remember, you know, first was, of course, was I was uh, pressured into by her dad and her brothers to take Dorothy to work. She needed to ride back to, <laughs> to work. Well, you see, yeah, you know. <laughs> so they lived out in the country there. Uh -huh. So I'd give her a ride to work, and of course, afterwards we'd probably go get something to eat. And maybe uh, I think we went to the movie there in Jefferson. Uh -huh. Maybe well, something like that. He came out there, and and I needed a ride to to my work. So he took me in to the to work, and he was dressing like. Believe it, he was dressing while he was getting going on the road to the. To <laughs> so Jefferson. he's giving you a ride to work, but he's also dressing for his work. Yes, while he's putting driving, his putting his shirt, putting his shoes on. And <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I, I got to tell I you, said, don't you want me to drive? <laughs> no. I got to tell you, it does I, I think it takes skill to put shoes on while driving. That's. Yep. that's, that's <laughs> I just couldn't believe he was doing that. But anyway, we that was some of the first mm -hmm. things we did was like I could go to mm -hmm. movies. Yep. We go over to. Carroll, where we live now, yeah. which is 27 miles. That was the big city. Yeah, we'd mm -hmm. go over there, right down Highway 30 to Carroll, and go mm -hmm. to the drive-in theater. Yeah. yeah. Did, oh yeah. Yeah, we did a lot of that. The old passion pit they call uh -huh. it out right there. Oh, we don't need to hear those details. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know, we'd go there, and of course go into Carroll afterwards. And at that time, there was like a couple drive-ins there around. Uh -huh. uh, a and W had one where the girls used to come out. And uh -huh. On, on the their, roller skates and yeah, stuff? Well, yeah, either mm -hmm. roller skates or on foot, and they brought them yeah. trays out. Yeah, hung them on the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. pushed a button yeah. and put in your orders from the car mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And uh, then they had a little place called Little, the little Duffer. And uh -huh. that was that, that uh, featured roast beef sandwiches, uh -huh. ice, ice cream and roast beef sandwiches. That was all the drive-ins there was there in Carroll at that time. But uh, that was some of the basic first mm -hmm. What, what we did on our first date. So now, so now I, I can't help but observe that after 50 years of marriage, most of his memories revolve around food. Have you noticed that? Well, <laughs> we went into that where Sparky's is now that 
there was a cafe there. Uh -huh. I forgot what the name of it was, but we ate there and we went back home. Yeah. He stayed at our house and yeah. laid on the couch. And I came down, we went to bed then later, and I came down and he was talking. And I thought, what? So I got the tape recorder out <laughs> and and he was talking and he go, and then he'd talk and he'd go like this. And, and all the, my dad and mom and everybody got up and had lights on. We was tape recording in the whole thing time. Did you play it back for him? Yeah, he, said, they, he wasn't too happy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even realize it. <laughs> so, so then, what? At what point did you did you notice you made the transition from? I don't really like him. He's too shy. He's too thin. He's not my dad. To all of a sudden now, you're kind of falling for this guy. Well, mm -hmm. he was was then, and then. He had a motel room, and I visited him up there, and we just talked and uh -huh. got. Cute. Oh, we don't need details. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> got, we just got together more, and I. So the more you got to know him, the more you thought he's not so bad after all. Yeah. I thought I don't know mom about him. Mom said, "What are you doing? You need to go apologize and tell him you're okay with him." Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so your parents really pushed you into that. Yeah. They <laughs> they, your parents were quite the matchmakers on this. Yes, they, they? were. <laughs> Do you remember the actual day of the wedding? Do you remember any, well, anything from yes, that? Yes, yes. <laughs> it is funny about that. <laughs> it actually was in the evening. And uh, it, it was on a Friday. And we got married. And then uh, Dorothy stopped out at the hospital. She was working at the hospital. She stopped out to get her paycheck. So we had money for her honeymoon. <laughs> well, we just took a weekend. Uh -huh. was all yeah. we took. Uh -huh. And then went back to work, both of us. But... Because we yeah, you didn't take your honeymoon for like a couple of years, right? right. Was that when you went to, to yeah. Nashville or to Tennessee and yeah, stuff? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, that was a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. But uh, we went over to Carroll and <laughs> got over there. We stayed at it. It isn't there any longer. It was 7130 Motel. Yeah, well, next to where the A&W is now still at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we uh, stayed there overnight and then, of course, went on headed north up to the grotto and like that yeah. the next day. But <laughs> we got got over to the motel, got in the motel, and all Dor Dorothy forgot to bring a nightgown or anything on, so she wore one of my t-shirts for night. <laughs> okay, and again, we don't need to know any more details. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing she knew. What do you remember from your, from your wedding day? Um, well, we had this celebration in um, state, um, Bag thing. It was too big. Uh -huh. Not a lot of people were in there and kind of crammed in there. Yeah. So a little, <laughs> little, that. little meeting room at the state bank. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. But we just had one on either side of us. Just small bridal party. Mm -hmm. yeah. We didn't have a big bridal party, and my Martin. dad took the pictures, black and white. Yeah. So it was it was pretty simple. Yeah. Got the job done though. Yep. And it's and it's stuck for now fifty years. That's, that's I borrowed time. my wedding dress from a gal and yeah? bought the the bright the thing the on veil. the head, veil mm -hmm. on the head. Yeah. Yeah. So it probably wasn't a big elaborate kind of nope. thing. No, nope. no, it wasn't. Nope. But again, you know, it's a lot of people spend thousands of dollars now on weddings and then they don't last. Yours yours has been fifty years. Yeah. Yours, <laughs> So apparently, big and splashy doesn't really matter. Nope. nope. Had nope. an upstairs nope. apartment yeah. in Jefferson. In Jefferson mm -hmm. on Pinette Street. Yep. yep. And uh, I worked for the light company, the Rural Electric mm -hmm. Company. I was a apprentice lineman on the yeah. maintenance crew. Uh huh. And uh, worked there. Dorothy, she was working at the Green County Care Center, the hospital, yeah. as a, as a nurse's aide at the nursing mm -hmm. home portion. Because that's what my mom has done. That's what she did her entire professional life. Nurses aide and nursing she was, And she was still going to high school at that time. Oh. Senior in high school. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, um, that was the very first when part you, of it. When you guys know. were married then, you're, during your first year of being married, what, what, what kind of things do you remember about, you know, how you learned about married life and about each other and, you know, any, any, any memories that, that pop up from well, that well, first not, year together? Just... He liked the the radio stuff, and he did that, and then he, and I was... Like ham radio things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he had it up on top of the refrigerator and stuff, yeah. and he loved doing that. 
I remember that. And, <laughs> and I was in the kitchen and in the oven and trying to do something. He came in and he swatted me on the butt and I turned around and hit him in the chin and knocked him through the <laughs> doorway. It was an apartment, an upstairs apartment. <laughs> uh, at least he didn't fall down the stairs. <laughs> no. Nope. But we had a dog that named, was named Snooks huh? and he, he was down there and he, she was dancing around and he went Whew, like this and she come out scared Bert was flying and she chased him around just about got him. He, he was for fighting for his life because she got a hold of him. She took a chunk out of him. Snooksy was quite the little dog. She yes, was, she was. She, she, she was my, my protector. Mm -hmm. In fact, yes, in fact there's, there's this really great photograph of me as a little baby, probably right when I came home, of me laying on my mom's lap, and Snooksy, who's uh, kind of small, maybe still a pup, I don't know if you still consider a pup at that point, but she's look, she's like inspecting me real intently, her nose right up there. Just Yep. <laughs> she was curious about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people still are. <laughs> oh, some funny points that I think about in her early life was things like... Uh, uh, Dorothy, good, hard girl. She tries so hard. She, I uh, was coming home one night from work, and I stopped by the grocery store, and I liked fish, mm -hmm. and had some these. Now we get to the food nice stuff. Nice yeah. catfish, laying there, fresh uh -huh. catfish. Yeah, they had their heads chopped off, but it, it was laying there. So, but it, but all they did was the head was chopped off. The rest of the fish was all there. Right. Scales and everything. Well, catfish don't have scales. Well, but they're outer skin, skin and skin all the guts inside and, and, yeah. The bones and yeah. So yeah. I took them home and I, you know, I got these. I had, well, Dorothy, she fixes them for supper. Yeah. Uh -huh. She takes. She didn't know how to do it. Really. I said, oh, I, I thought she knew something yeah. about cooking. So well, her mom was a great cook. Yeah. So, yeah. so I thought. I said, well, you know, you just roll them in some flour and stuff, you know, and then clean them up good, good, and put them in the skillet, some of the grease in it. Brown them, you know. <laughs> well, she cooked them. They look, oh, they look nice. Put on a plate. But it smelled good when you got home. It smelled. Like, no, nah, it didn't smell so good. <laughs> of course, this was the next night yeah. she oh, okay. cooked them. You see, but I come in the house. What is that smell? I smell. And well, uh, uh, something maybe. Well, she had them cooked and all was ready for supper. She had it looked so nice. They did. She put it on the plate and I put stuff on her. I took my fork and I went to take a piece off of it. I stuck into the side of the fish, and the inner just went whoosh, right out of my plate. Oh, that! Oh, if you kind of lost your taste of the fish that night. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, I tell you. She said, "What's wrong?" <laughs> I said, "You were supposed to clean the insides out of them too." You know? Well, you didn't tell her that. I didn't. Tell her that. <laughs> so now, so here's here's the real kicker question. Okay. So now let's fast forward to now. So here you are. 50 years been married now so what what would you say as a now today with all those five decades that have gone by what what is what is the quality about her that you still really appreciate well Dorothy is good-hearted she's she can she's fun to be around she uh, I keep kidding her she's I'm married to Gracie Allen or or Edith Bunker mm -hmm. she says well I'm Oh, oh, bunker, you know, yeah. <laughs> right over well, to there, there is some you truth know, to that. Over, that's the way it is. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, uh, we just, you know, we just, uh, just got along. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had a pretty good marriage, I yeah. think. And, uh, you raised some really raised, great kids. Raised five kids. <laughs> and probably the kids is, uh, kept us uh, occupied. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and generally in a good way, I hope, but yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, and as most of them, uh, most uh, of my kids tur has turned out for you, uh, the last few years. Yeah. Let's say in the last, within the last 10 years, I finally come around to where it's most, you can be proud of them. Yeah. <laughs> but up to that, there was times that I thought, oh, that can't be my kid. Do yeah. <laughs> you remember anything else from, from I mean, like, like, uh, any anything about him that you had to learn to to you're like okay well this is he's this is weird about him I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to this. Oh, just his singular way of doing because he was an only child. Uh -huh. He just had ways about him that he just did himself. Because yeah, you came from a big family mm -hmm. and he didn't. 
Nope. Nope. He just didn't understand the kissing and mm -hmm. the connection we had. And his mom didn't that either. She yeah. didn't like to be hugged or kissed. And finally, she gave in to it. <laughs> so, so you taught him. You, mm -hmm. you had to teach him. Yep. Was yep. that was that painful? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> he grooved in though. Yeah. Oh, I, I just uh, think back is it's been a it's been a good uh, fifty years. Mm -hmm. uh, probably uh, I learned a lot. Yeah, you well, know, yeah. you learn learn a lot. That's uh, good. Uh, I so, mean, I mean, you know, getting along mm -hmm. with people and Dorothy mm -hmm. and like that. Yeah, well, because you're an only child. Yeah, and you didn't have a lot of relationships to base off of yeah, before you started on this journey. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. she had all those brothers yeah. and sisters. You yeah, see, and I didn't have any. So I mean, it was a mixture of life. Mm -hmm. you yeah, you know, getting together there, yeah. and. Uh, it was it was a change, yeah. and I didn't have my relatives because yeah. I was the only child. And but it, see, my mother was almost uh, she was about thirty eight when she had me. Yeah. So you see, most of my relatives were gone. Yeah. And like today, as far as the Smith side of the family, mm -hmm. outside of my own my kids mm -hmm. and Dorothy, yeah. I have no mm -hmm. relations. There's nobody no, left. Nobody direct. There's a lot of Smiths, but we're yeah. not related. Yeah. And uh, so, but, uh, oh, we just got along. Uh, just mixture grew up. But we had, oh, we had uh, problems, you know. <laughs> kind of, we didn't agree on a lot of things. Uh, Dorothy, you see, was a girl that was, uh, I am not making mockery of her. She's a fine girl. Okay. Probably one of the biggest things that helped us uh, survive through it was Dorothy okay. was a good Religious girl. Uh -huh. She was a good church girl. Yeah. Uh, she didn't hang out with his hoodlum. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, and she was trying to correct me, and I was thinking, I was. She was holding me down. Uh -huh. yeah. I couldn't be the hoodlum I uh -huh. used to be, yeah. you know, yeah. so to speak. So, but uh, I think she won out. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> anyway, but if it hadn't been for her patience, and I believe her uh, being connected with the Lord. Yeah. Might not have survived 50 years. Yeah, well, but likely it probably would. 50 years now. You've been married 50 years. Mm -hmm. So now, as you look back over these last 50 years and stuff, what what now would you say is some of his best qualities? The things you still that, that you do you think you know he's still a pretty good guy because of because he can fix things, he electrical things and uh -huh. and plumbing things and. Mm -hmm. And he draws out all this stuff on paper, and he can just fix it, like in his lawn mowers and stuff. Uh -huh. He does that. That's his side thing. Yeah. He likes to do. Yeah. Out in the shed, he got mm -hmm. across the alley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really handy, and 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 he's not really had any formal training on any of that stuff. He's nope, self-taught he on all this stuff. When he, because he, he was his only man, you know, yeah. he didn't have any brothers or sisters, so he mm -hmm. read books all the time. Yeah. And learned about doing all that stuff. Yeah. So pretty impressive, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, he's a good guy. For that, yep. <laughs> you made a promise last time you were here on the front porch. You said that next time you were going to give us the secret to being married 50 years. Oh, yes, I did. So, didn't I? So, well, then I so, so, then so I, you got to deliver on that promise I now. I expect so. I better. Well, there's a, uh, the reason is, uh, well, when you got five kids, Alimony is too damn high price. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the last life lesson right there. Have lots of kids so you can't afford to get divorced. So, yeah. yeah, see, and, <laughs> then, uh, and then you're buying a house, you know, making yeah, yeah. payments on it. Yeah. You got to have two incomes to make yeah. the payments. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. You know, so, yeah. Was, so see, it's all financial and it comes back all, to the money. That's it. So, so, <laughs> and uh, probably another reason too is that. Uh, I doubt if anybody else, would, nobody else would have put up with me. Mm, that's that's possible too. Huh? No, yeah. if, if, know me, you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, but I've come to see the Lord in the last right. few years, and it took me about seventy years to do it. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it uh, it's been a great life. Good. That's Glad what, you think about so. all I can say. All about right. It. I don't regret it. Nope. I uh, and if I had to do over. Well, if I knew ahead of time, I probably would have made a few changes uh -huh. different, but it was worth it. Okay, so so Dad told us the secret of being married 50 years. 
Because he didn't want to get divorced. <laughs> yeah, he, well, basically, yeah. But so, do you have your own theory as to what, what it takes to, to have a long marriage and, and be together for for 50 years? Just keep praying, and when things get wild, just go away and ignore it and keep praying about it. <laughs> It'll be better. Just stick with it. Yep. 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 Don't give up. Stick with it. I sure stick with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She, and if he lets her know what I told you, she, this will be the last time you see me because she'll shoot me when I get home. <laughs> well, you know, she might see the video at some point. Oh! <laughs> oh big one coming on! <laughs> okay, so now he's not just Archie. He's not just... Who, who's the other one you're compared to? Oh, George Burns. Now he's also Fred Sanford. See? <laughs> <laughs> the okay. big one's coming, Elizabeth! Yeah. Elizabeth. All right. 50 Happy years. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> it's like they still like each other. Aww. <laughs> okay, pay up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got to treat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, thank you, Mom and Dad, for being here. Happy 50th anniversary, and we'll see you next time, time. from okay. my front porch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye now. Bye.